First of all, before I get started on this video, I just want to say that this is not sponsored. We honestly just love this app and wanted to spread the word. So, like, what am I even talking about? This app is called Virtual Desktop. It runs directly on the Quest 1 or 2, and it's available on Steam. Heads up though, we're not talking about the Steam version. That's a completely different kind of application, and it's aimed more at like an Index, Rift, or was it HTC? HTC? HP. G2 owners. Right now, no vibe. The what? The vibe. HTC vibe. Oh, I guess the vibe, yeah. Uh, it's made for wired VR users. Um, I can't keep track of all of them. I'm sure there's a bunch of Chinese ones too. Whatever. Mostly for the Quest 1 and 2 on the Quest Store. That's what we're using today. The app's normally about $20 on the store, but Oculus will send you a discount code like all the time uh, if you don't buy their garbage frequently. So I get emails constantly for 30% off saying, it's expiring soon, please buy our stuff. So I keep an eye out and you can probably snag it for a few bucks off, even though I think the original price is easily worth it. So now that I've spent a few minutes here talking about all this nonsense, I haven't even told you what the app does. Virtual Desktop is an app that lets you wirelessly use your PC and play games through your Oculus Quest. It's like the Oculus's own AirLink or that free ALVR software that you might have heard about. So basically I can use this to play PC VR games wirelessly when before you would have to use a wire to your PC and you had to buy the right cable and it, it was a hassle. This way I don't trip over any, anything and that's great. So a quick aside, let's talk about requirements because you do need some kind of hardware to do this. For a good streaming experience, you need one, a solid PC. You want to check the requirements for the games you want to play, but a relatively modern GPU and a decent CPU is a good idea. These things vary a lot from title to title, so it's kind of hard to get specific. You're also going to want a good router. Wi-Fi 6 router on the 5 gigahertz band is recommended, but you can kind of get away with a Wi-Fi 5 router. The quality might be a little bit lower though. You might get some more compression, but it should be okay. Of note, you need your PC plugged directly into the router. Having the PC over wireless and the headset over wireless can cause issues with latency, compression, drop frames. It's never a good idea. <laughs> or in my case earlier, it just won't even connect. It goes, you're not on the same network. It's just, no, you're literally, Okay, I'll plug in the wire. Just, just plug in the wire. Another cool thing about this software is some GPUs like the 1650, you know, check our video about that on VR, aren't officially supported by Oculus. Sometimes GPUs that aren't supported can be used, and sometimes they can't. It's kind of up to Meta's mood, it feels like, rather than actual performance and actual requirements there. Virtual Desktop will try and run on pretty much anything that is technically capable, nobody's approval needed. So if you have an older GPU that Oculus doesn't like or a lower end part, you might still be able to play Beat Saber wirelessly with this. Or you just buy Beat Saber on the Quest, but eh. <laughs> Yeah, a stronger GPU still though, it'll be a little bit better than the Quest experience. I've had, I've had this thing lag. You don't think it does, but I've had this lag on some custom tracks and you're like, did I just miss the note? No, 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 no. It's always the lag, it's never me. So then, First things first is you buy the app off the Oculus Quest store. Then you install the companion streamer software on the PC you want to access. Then you add your Quest account name there to the streamer app and you access it from the application in the headset. After that, you're connected and good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the headset on and show you the features that you can access and just how simple and straightforward this actually is. This is almost so simple it feels like it's not working or you're not even trying. It, it just works for our favorite meme there. So now that you've got everything purchased and downloaded and you have your streamer app running on the PC, you're gonna put on your quest and you're gonna go ahead and open up your apps menu and just launch the virtual desktop app. I've got a wire plugged in and that's not to play the VR. That is to record my view so that you can see what's going on. There's no easier way that I can think of. There is a wireless version for uh, uh there is a wireless version for the app i'm using side quest it's pretty cool but i don't know how to make it work here you're greeted with this screen here and it already automatically connected because it's that straightforward boom right here here's my desktop here's a really cool youtube channel i like straightforward there you can use this as a desktop you got a right click button you've got your 
movement around, you can pop open a keyboard. Tapping this button here will switch between monitors if you have two hooked up. I don't right now. Pretty, pretty easy and it keeps scrolling because my hands are shaking, ignore that. Now, if you hit the menu button, you can go ahead and view your streamer settings within virtual desktop. Why is it still scrolling? Stop! You're gonna show the videos nobody watched. <laughs> so you got all kinds of settings here. You can set what frame rate you're at. Why is it set to 90, 120? You can change it that, your bit rate, your microphone pass through. It'll pass through your microphone so you can use it while in Discord. And the Quest microphone, which is surprisingly good, will work. It's very streamlined, very simple. That, go to streaming, change your qualities, put that sucker on potato mode if you have to. <laughs> Here's that space warp setting, which I talked about in another video. So go ahead and check that out if you have some issues with your VR experience, especially you AMD users, AMD GPU users, Radeon users. Ryzen's okay. Ryzen's fine. The Ryzen CPU is great. So right there, you've got all these cool settings to tweak and adjust. I've had issues with old GPUs and I turned off slice encoding. That works, video buffering. There's a ton of tools, tons of software just to kind of play with. So then from here, I can go ahead and just click launch Steam VR and you give it a second. And I'm in Steam VR. I can click the menu. Hold down, no. Wow. That's Steam VR being bad, not not the app. Hit the menu button once it's loaded up. Click on a game, and there you go. It's seriously, it's that simple. It just works. If you want to edit your settings while playing the game, you hold down the menu button, and here's your settings menu again. Then you just tap the menu button to go back into the game. Hit the home button. If you want to open up the Oculus menu, check the time, check your battery, close out on the app. Honestly, I don't even know what else to say about this. It's just the most simple and streamlined experience I've ever seen. Get this off. I have tried Oculus Airlink in the past because it's free and I am cheap, but it's just, it's not the same. I end up with graininess and compression issues and it breaks every other update. Ask any Quest user, you're terrified of updating this device and it does it on its own anyways. I'm sure there are tons of features hidden in here that either I don't need or I'm just not smart enough to use yet. But what I do use, what I do need, it just works so simply, so fluidly. I could give this headset to my little brother, to a 10 year old, to Gab, to my mom, anybody. And they'll understand pretty quickly. You put it on, you click the app and you click launch games. It makes a world of difference and it makes me enjoy my quest and use VR a lot more. So thanks for sticking out this far. Hopefully you've either been a fan of this app or you check it out. Developers of this, please sponsor me next time. <laughs> I don't even need a sponsorship. I just like the software. Go ahead and get subscribed. Leave a comment if you have a different alternative. I know you ALVR users are pretty excited about it. I just didn't want to bother. Let me know if it's simpler than I thought it is. And go ahead and jump on the Discord, say hello, get subscribed. I think I already said get subscribed, didn't I? Doesn't matter. <laughs> get subscribed? Get subscribed? Get subscribed? <laughs> <Like>. <laughs> and we'll see y'all next time.